Hello friends, now we will see the sampling theorem. The statement of the sampling theorem, it indicates that uh, a continuous time signal. Now let us see the continuous time signal. Okay, so this is continuous time signal. is completely represented in its sample form that means how the samples are taken basically we are taking the sample in such a way that we are applying some impulse signals at a regular interval of time depending on the sampling frequency the sample of that particular information signal it is taken so this is the message signal signal so here nothing but the, we are doing the sampling okay and the sampled version sampled version is nothing but the, when the message signal is completely covered or completely represented by the number of the samples taken we can say that it is a sampled signal okay so here the particular instance the relative impulses repre uh, trying to represent the message signal okay like this one so the complete representation of this one now more and more samples if we take for the message signal then better and better will be the representation of the message signal hence here we are assuming the Nyquist criteria that sampling frequency should be twice or greater than the maximum frequency of a continuous time signal so better will be the reconstruction at the receiving side so this is all about the sampling theorem thank you for watching